Hi golfers and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, Left Better Certified Instructor and former professional tour player. And today we're here to talk about our knees and our footwork because it's really, really important to understand what our knees should be doing in the golf swing so we can have repeatedly solid contact, bottom the club out correctly every single time and have just the best golf swing we can have because it will allow us to turn around our center of mass, our core, our spine much better. So let's jump into it. So the number one mistake that I see with my amateurs and with my students is that they don't really know what their knees should be doing and shouldn't be doing. So as a result of that, they do too much. They move too much. And I just had a lesson last week and I actually saw this in two or three students. So it's quite the theme that I'm coming across. So I definitely wanted to make sure I address it with you guys because what happens is when you take the ball and you take your club and you move away from the ball, a lot of the time my students will sway and that left knee, that lead knee will come in too much. See how this lead knee comes in and even if you kind of brace your right leg against it, it still comes in so their, their footwork and their legwork breaks down in the backswing. And what that does is it also breaks down your hip structure, which is a problem because then you're swaying all over the place in the golf swing. So what I see a lot, as I said, is they when they move it back, that left knee comes in and they either also have their right knee unstable or they kind of try to counteract it. But again, their hip motion, their hips are super open. If you look at my hip now, it's really open. This is almost 90 degree open and we wanted it 45 degrees. I discussed that in another video. So you want to only have it at 45 degrees. And when I when I put my hips at 45 degrees, what does that left knee do? What do you see that lead knee doing? That's right. It goes forward. It goes forward. And you can see that on the down the line angle here. It doesn't go in. It goes forward. So that is what your lead knee should be doing. And by your lead knee going forward, if you look at my hip, and I love doing this with an alignment stick, I'm on a mat right now, but if you're on turf, you can put an alignment stick right here and you can kind of see that distance between your hip and your alignment stick, in this case, my grip. And when you're turning back, you don't want that distance to increase a ton. And when you start getting that left knee in towards the back of your swing, you are actually generating a lot of distance here. Do you see that? how much dis distance that is. And by moving it forward, see how naturally your hip doesn't move away from this line. It will stay there. So that will really help you coil up and come back to the ball. So really, a really simple way of thinking about this is lead knee forward in your backswing and trail knee back. So this gets more straighter, this gets more bent. Lead knee forward, trail knee back. Lead knee forward, trail knee back. And then the opposite happens in your downswing. You want to brace into that left leg, right knee forward, left knee bent. Sorry, straight. You catch my drift, guys. So in the backswing, lead knee forward, trail knee back. In the downswing, right here, as, as we're starting to transition, we're going to brace into that left foot, trail knee forward, lead knee back. So really it's a little bit of a forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And that's something you can do. You can do this on the range, literally stand and then hinge from the hip, take your setup and just feel like you're doing a little forward, back, forward, back. And that's really all you need to do. Forward and back and forward and back and forward and back. And you will not do this. You will not sway off the ball. So make sure your lead knee goes forward. That is my main thing for this lesson. And also I'm going to put my club away really quickly and I want to show you this little this little drill that I did the other day in my hallway because it's really important. You take your hands and you put it in the middle right by your belly button and then as you're coming back, as you're coiling back, simulating your backswing, you're pulling your right hand up and you're pulling your left hand, you're pushing it down and you're pushing your left knee out. See what that does? Again, my, my lead knee is now bent, my trail knee is straight, straightish. You don't want to lock it out, of course, but you do want to straighten it a little bit more because that's going to give you that 45 degree angle hip turn. And then you really can't overturn anymore. And that is the next thing that this is so important for, the overswinging piece. I have a lot of students that struggle with overswinging and you know, that's a lot of us. And I've seen it where people just can't get out of that overswinging. And the reason why they can't get out of this overswinging is because their hip is 
too dancey. Their hip is opening too much. There's no resistance. But by having this lead knee and the focus on the lead knee going forward, if you try this, you can only turn so much. Legitimately, I cannot turn anymore. However, when I have that left knee come in, all of a sudden, it's literally, there's no stopping me. I can turn shallow. I can stand up. There's so much so much space and so much room that I have to go further back, which I don't want. So this, without you even thinking about your backswing at all, guys, this will stop your overswinging. Make sure your lead knee goes forward, not back. So let's hit a couple of shots. And that just feels so much more powerful because you now don't give into that hip, that into that collapsing in your in your swing anymore in your lower body that was such a nice little draw lead knee forward guys trail knee back opposite in the downswing it is really simple and you know me i'm always here to simplify things and watch the length of my swing i'm going to try to overswing i really can't overswing guys it's impossible so this one focus on your knee is going to stop you from over swinging. It's going to stop you from swaying off the ball because every time you sway off the ball, think about it, you have to make up that entire distance coming back into the impact. And this is just wasted motion. You don't need this motion. This isn't going to get you any more distance, any more power. It's just going to lose you energy and power that you don't put into the golf balls. So guys, next time you're on the range, make sure you pay attention to your knees and what they're doing and that they are not collapsing. Have that structure, lead knee forward, trail knee back, trail knee forward, lead knee back, and you are going to be good to go. So this is going to help you get more consistent contact. It's going to help you get more distance and it's going to eliminate those chunks for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If this is your first time here at my channel, welcome to YouTube here at Coach Carolyn. I'm so glad to have you. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave me a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys and I cannot wait to jump into the next session with you very shortly.